Could China really change how we travel with flying taxis? What cool technologies is Ehang using to stay ahead of its competitors? How is China making it easier for these flying vehicles to take off? Stick with us as we look into Ehang's exciting progress in the EV tall world and see if they can lead the way in urban air travel. Welcome to our channel! Based in China, Ehang is leading the way in the electric vertical takeoff and landing revolution, changing how we think about city transportation. But how does their approach compare to Western competitors? This company isn't just another tech startup, they're trailblazers in the world of flying taxis. Their main model, the EH216S, is an impressive piece of technology. Imagine this, a sleek, drone-like vehicle that can carry up to two passengers, flying at speeds of about 80 miles per hour. With a range of up to 35 kilometers or around 22 miles on a single charge, it's perfect for short trips in the city, great for zooming across town or skipping that annoying rush hour. And what makes Ehong special? First, their focus on being fully autonomous is a game changer. Unlike many Western competitors that are still testing pilot-operated versions, Ehong has created a completely autonomous aircraft. This means no pilot is needed. The EH216S can find its way on its own using advanced algorithms and GPS technology. It's like having your own personal flying chauffeur but without the human driver. Ehang's focus on safety is really impressive. The EH216S has multiple backup systems, which means if one part stops working, another can take over. This is super important for keeping passengers safe, especially when flying over busy city streets. Plus, the air taxi has advanced collision avoidance technology, which helps ensure a smooth ride even in crowded airspace. On the regulatory side, Ehang has made some big progress. They got a type certificate and a standard airworthiness certificate from the Civil Aviation Administration of China. This is a huge deal because it means their aircraft is approved for commercial use, a goal that many other companies are still trying to achieve. So, how does Ehang compare to Western companies like Joby Aviation and Archer? While those companies are focusing a lot on piloted air taxis and have raised billions in funding, Ehang has a different approach. They're not just about flying people around, they're also looking into cargo delivery and even emergency services. Imagine drones delivering medical supplies to remote areas or moving goods across cities. Ehang is already testing these ideas, showing off their flexibility in the EVTOL world. If you think flying cars are cool, wait until you hear about the rules that make them happen. China has been proactive in setting up a regulatory system for EV tall operations. The Civil Aviation Administration of China is leading the way, rolling out guidelines that are both detailed and supportive of new ideas. This is a big change from the often slow-moving rules we see in the US and Europe. In 2023, the KSE introduced the Green Aviation Manufacturing Development Outline, which aims to boost the low-altitude economy. This ambitious plan includes goals for building infrastructure, supporting research, and encouraging companies like Ehang to grow their operations. The Chinese government is clearly making a big bet on urban air mobility, and Ehang is right at the center of it. Ehang has been busy with test flights, and the results are looking good. They recently completed a series of successful flights in cities like Guangzhou and Beijing. These tests aren't just for show. They prove that their technology works in real-life situations. In fact, Ehang's EH216S made its first commercial flight in 2022, marking a major milestone in the EV tall industry. What's even more exciting? Ehang is working with local governments to set up a network of e-ports. Think of them as vertiports for air taxis. These hubs will make it easier for takeoffs and landings, allowing passengers to hop on board with ease. The vision is to create a fully integrated urban air mobility system, where flying taxis are as common as buses and trains. <music> e 
Wuhan isn't just stopping at test flights, they have big plans to grow urban air mobility. Their strategy includes working closely with city governments to fit air taxis into public transportation systems. Imagine being able to book an air taxi right from your smartphone app, just like you do with a rideshare service. This kind of convenience could totally change how we think about getting around. The company is also looking to go global. After successful test flights in China, Ehan wants to expand to places like Europe and North America. They've already made partnerships in the UAE, where there's a lot of interest in new transportation solutions. So, what would it mean if China leads the EV tall market? First off, it could have a huge economic impact. The low altitude economy is expected to be worth over $1 trillion by 2040, and China wants to grab a big piece of that pie. Ehang's success could create jobs in many areas, from manufacturing to tech development. Recent reports say the global EVTOL market is set to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 52% from 2022 to 2030. With China leading the way, they could really dominate this growing industry and set standards that other countries might follow. China's potential leadership in eVTOL could shake up the competition worldwide. Companies in the US and Europe might find themselves scrambling to catch up. While Ehang is already flying commercial flights, many Western competitors are still testing their aircraft. This difference in speed could mean that China sets the rules for regulations, safety standards, and tech advancements. As Ehang expands internationally, they could also shape how other countries think about urban air mobility. With their experience and success, China might become a go-to example for nations wanting to launch their own EVTOL solutions. Even though the technology is exciting, safety is a big concern. Ehang knows this and is working hard to build public trust. They're doing extensive safety tests and talking with communities to address any worries. After all, flying in an air taxi is a new experience for most people, and easing those fears is key for everyone to accept it. By focusing on safety and being open, Ehang hopes to win over skeptics and create a new normal in urban transportation. Looking ahead, the impact of eVTOL technology could be huge. Ehang imagines a world where urban air mobility is part of our daily lives. This could lead to less traffic, shorter commutes, and a cleaner environment. With electric-powered aircraft, we could be looking at zero-emission transportation. Ehang knows that teamwork is super important for success in the eVTOL world. They've teamed up with different international groups, including governments and private companies. For example, they're working with the Dubai government to launch air taxi services in the city by 2025. This shows that Ehang is serious about expanding beyond China. They're also looking into partnerships in Europe and North America. By joining forces with local companies, they can tackle regulatory challenges more easily and customize their services for each region. This global strategy not only boosts Ehang's credibility, but also helps them stand out as a leader in the international EV tall market. To break into new markets successfully, Ehang is taking a smart approach. They're focusing on adapting to local rules, which can vary a lot from one country to another. This flexibility allows them to tweak their operations to fit specific needs, making it easier to enter new areas. They also see tourism as a big chance for air taxi services. Cities with lots of tourists like Las Vegas or Paris could really benefit from aerial transport options. By offering scenic flights or quick rides between popular spots, Ehang could tap into a profitable market while making travel more enjoyable. The dream of flying taxis isn't just a fantasy anymore, it's quickly becoming a reality, and Ehang is at the front of this exciting change. What do you think? Can Ehang's flying taxis really change how we get around our cities? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.